Hello all, welcome to the series of Alpine JS. In this particular video, we will be learning how to install Alpine in your normal HTML project. So first things first, we will go ahead and create a blank directory. I will name it Learn Alpine. Once you have the directory created, we will go ahead and open it in our editor which is Visual Studio Code. In here, I'll be creating a blank file named index.html which has a basic HTML structure in that. And to install Alpine, the first method is to install it via CDN. So all we have to do is include this script tag inside the head of your HTML. So I have included this script which basically in imports the Alpine from its CDN and currently we are using version 3 and that's all. That's all you have to do to include Alpine in your project. To make sure this works, what I'll do is I'll create a blank div in my body and I will initialize a Alpine component by using by giving it X data. Don't worry about it as of now since we have not learned the Alpine attributes yet. We'll just assign it an object which contains a single property named counter and it's set to zero. And if we want to check Alpine works, we'll just try to print that in our body using the attribute x text and we'll assign it the value counter. So let's go ahead and open it with the live server. And there you go, it works. It prints 0. Let's change the value to 5. And it changes it to 5. So that means the Alpine is working fine. We have successfully imported it from the CDN. There is another way to install Alpine and that is where npm and if you are going into the advanced development and you, if you want your development to be modular you will need to install Alpine via npm so I will also cover that in this installation video. So to do that we will con first thing we will need to convert our project into a node project for that we'll just need to do npm init y and if you go into the folder you will see that you now have a package.json file in your directory and to install the and to install alpine.js all you have to do is run this command in your project folder so we'll come here we'll run this command npm install alpine.js and you will see that we have now have a dependency of alpine.js so basically node it is node package manager and it is used to manage your dependencies and the first dependency that we have installed is alpine.js now you will see that we have node modules and inside that we have the source file of alpine and everything is in there but we cannot directly include this import this into our project we will need a compiler such as webpack that will convert our alpine.js into a simplified javascript that our browser understands so what we will do is let's create a new folder source and inside that i'll create a new file app.js and we will put this thing into here which basically means that we are importing alpine from alpine.js which will which it will go and find it from here we assign the alpine object to window.alpine and we start the instance but if you include this file in your browser in your html file your browser won't understand this so what we need to do is we need to compile it down to a version that browser understands and that's where a build tool comes into picture like webpack but instead of using webpack what I will use is laravel mix which simplifies things for us so laravel mix is a tool 
which is basically a wrapper around webpack and it's it makes things easier for us so we don't have to do much we just have to install laravel mix as a dev dependency into the project So now you see in the package.json file you have a new dev dependency and that is laravel mix. In order to use laravel mix you need to create a file named webpack.mix.js so we will go ahead and run the command to create that file. Once that file is created we will define some commands which will do the compilation for us. So we will go in webpack.mix.js and paste these commands which basically means that we, will, we are importing the mix laravel mix and we are telling mix that go ahead and find a file app.js in my source directly and compile it down into the dist directory and for that we will need an additional folder which is named dist and in order now to compile our app.js file using laravel mix we'll just need to run the command npx mix so this this will take the command this will take the file this and convert it to the file dist app.js so now you'll see we have a simplified version of our alpine in this file you don't need to worry about what is there in this file we can just go ahead and directly use this in our index.html so instead of getting this file from cdn I now have this file in my local and I can just refer it into my dist and app.js so now let's go back to our browser and we will refresh this and it still works that means we are still importing alpine we'll just change the counter to 10 to see if it still works it, just, it does and now we have learned to install alpine in our project using two ways first is via a script tag that is from the cdn and second as a module that is from the npm installation i hope you liked it and keep watching the series to learn more about the alpine js thank you